Hey, what's going on there? My name is Michael from Wildlife X Team, and today let's talk about skunks. Skunks are exclusively located in the Americas. They're very rarely found in Europe and Asia and other continents, and they can be a big problem as cute as they might look. If you wake up to weird odors, lawn damage, upturned plants, or anything else kind of like that with like a weird smell, then you might just have a skunk problem. Skunks will eat just about anything. They'll eat the trash that you leave out or the insects that are inside your yard. That's why there might be random holes all over your place is because they're digging, looking for trash, looking for insects, looking for basically just about anything. Also, skunks are very nocturnal creatures. That means they avoid light and they tend to come out in the middle of the night. And so that's why you might be having random holes in your yard in the middle of the night, yet not seeing any skunks during the day. So what exactly is the issue with skunks? A few small holes isn't that big of a problem, but the main issue is their skunk smell that they may release. It's a mix of sulfurous oils and it can cause partial blindness for a little while. It can sting the skin and it's very hard to get out once you get it in your clothes or on your skin. It can be very painful and it's got a terrible smell. If you've ever been driving around in the country before and you've just smelled this god-awful smell, that could possibly be a skunk. Another issue with skunks could be if you have an open doorway and you allow pets to leave your house at will. Dogs or cats may be a little bit more territorial and so if a skunk enters the area, the cat or dog or any animal you may have may get into a fight with the skunk. And the cat or dog does not know that going near the skunk will release a terrible smell and so that could cause some severe damage to your pet. So now that we know what skunks are and what potential damage they can cause, let's go over some ways where we can get rid of skunks so that way these problems are prevented before they happen. Number one is because skunks are nocturnal creatures, just simply have lights around your house. This can also help on a side note with uh, potential burglaries or robbers that may be interested into breaking into your home. You can get a motion sensor activated light so that way when any creature or person goes near your house a light is automatically activated or you can simply leave on the outside house lights so that why your house is a little bit brighter and the skunk will want to avoid that light number two is to seal up holes around your house skunks are instinctively attracted to small spaces because that's where insects and edible creatures may be hiding when they see a hole they're interested, it's dark so they're happy, and they're looking for insects because that's where the insects are. So make sure you seal up any holes, and even if it's not like a really big one, skunks still may be attracted to it, and they might just continue digging the hole deeper in search of insects or whatever. So make sure you clear the yard color and you get rid of any holes in your yard so that why skunks aren't attracted to it. Number three is to reduce the amount of food or water that you leave outside your house. So make sure all of your trash is sealed up in an odor-free bag. You have no pet food outside. Uh, you basically have no food left outside because those have a strong odor and skunks have a way stronger sense of smell than us humans. And so if they smell food or any type of interesting odor from your home, they're gonna be attracted, they're gonna be curious, and then you might just have a skunk problem. Number four can be a little bit more pricey, but it'll be definitely worth it if you're in a high crime area or you're in an area that tends to be infested with wildlife. Number four is motion activated sprinklers. You can essentially turn these on so that way at night, if anyone crosses a certain area, the sprinklers will turn on and so any skunks or other wildlife animals that are going towards your home will get uh, a little bit of water sprayed on them and then they will run away. And of course, the other benefit of that as well is if they're a potential high crime area and someone might be interested in breaking in, they will also be dissuaded from entering your home. If for whatever reason, none of the four above don't work, number five would be just purchase a skunk trap. These are usually odor free, very ethical, and it allows you to capture a skunk and then release them safely into the wild. Another thing that could help is setting up a fence. And if you do decide to set up a fence, make sure it goes deep into the ground so that why skunks can't dig below it and make sure it's at least four feet high otherwise a skunk can very easily climb the fence and get into your yard. So a fence or any type of trap just double check your local area's regulations 
because potentially damaging a skunk could be illegal and it could also scare the skunk into releasing an odor. So practicing the first four rules and maybe even creating a fence if it's very necessary will be the most effective way so that way the skunks and other wildlife animals are dissuaded from going near your home but they also don't feel threatened and so you don't release that horrible, horrible smell. All right, so that right there is five different ways that you can prevent skunks from entering your home and your property area so that why they do not enter and hurt you, your pets, or your property by digging holes. My name is Michael with Wildlife X Team. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Let us know what you think or if you have any questions and we will be there for you. See you later.